what to say, honestly. It has been quite some time since I've actually sat down and did a video. Um, I kind of put my YouTube channel on the back burner for a while. Um, I think mostly it was to give me space to figure out some things and um, to find the courage to express what I've been wanting to express for quite some time. And um, if you have read my blog post called Silent Moments, My Story, by now you will know my journey of coming out of the closet um, and saying that I'm gay. Um, and I've opened up to my wife, my family, um, and it's been a beautiful experience and a journey. It still is a journey. Um, and so in terms of reflecting all that and feeling like I didn't know how to be myself authentically on my social platforms and here on YouTube, there are so many parts of me that I kept hidden and locked away for so long um, that I didn't know how to talk about it. I felt shame and didn't know if anybody would love me for me still, um, if they truly knew who I was um, and how I felt. Um, that was a scary thought. And then I started opening up and I felt nothing but love, unconditional love. And when I told my wife, she said, I still love you as I've always been. Um, and then I'm still David to her. Um, and then I opened up to my mom and she said, you're still my David. And that was all I needed to hear to know that she loved me and that I am still David. I'm still here. And I titled that my coming out blog as Silent Moments My Story mostly because the silent moments referred to my hearing loss but also the silent moments referred to the silent side of me that I was too scared to talk about and to share. And that part is no longer silent um, and I want to be able to share that part of me and to help others who may feel alone and to know that they're valued and that they are here and they still have purpose and still have the ability to love and to find joy in life, um, however that may be. And in terms of thinking about how I want to move forward with my YouTube channel and my social platforms, I was reflecting on my original Silent Moments blog uh, that I started when I was in high school. And I actually have it pulled up right here. And I was reading my very first entry and I thought, what better way to kind of start off this series of telling more of my story and to how it intertwines with some of the other posts that I have written. Um, and the first one that I ever wrote on my blog is titled, I am strong enough to stand. And it's a poem that I wrote, I was probably 14 years old. Um, and I didn't publish it until later. Um, it was in 2010 when I published it, but I remember writing this for when I was about 14. Um, and around 14 years old was a big milestone for me. Um, that was when I was in high school and I started to really know that things were different among me and my uh, peers. It was also a time of getting my second cochlear implant. It was also the time that I started to really understand the difference that I had in being a cochlear implant user and being here, um, deaf and in both worlds. So I'm going to read this poem. Um, the poem is I Am Strong Enough to Stand by David Clough. I am deaf, can't hear, but I'm strong enough to stand. I may be different, but I know who I am. 
I can communicate in a thousand ways for you to hear my view. I have got a cochlear implant to help me hear your voice. I know I am deaf. But I'm strong enough to stand, standing for who I know to be. No one can change me or tell me who I am to be. I am strong enough to stand. To stand in a world that is falling down, trying to pull me away from who I am. But I am trying to be strong in who I am. I am deaf and I found a way to hear my mother's voice calling my name. I hear my father's voice asking for a tool while under the sink. I am strong enough to fight the insurance even though they may not understand who I am. I am strong enough to stand, standing for who I am. I know I am deaf and no one can change that. When I feel like crashing down, I hold on to my Heavenly Father's hand, never letting go. When I'm strong enough to stand, I will still look upward to Him for the light. I am strong enough to be who I am meant to be. That poem held so many emotions at the time, and looking back, I still feel them. I still feel that feeling of, I know I'm different. I know I am not like everyone else. Um, even though that poem highlights a lot of my hearing loss, but I was still fighting to feel like I am who I am to be, um, and that I was created the way I am. Um, and so today I can now reach out to my younger self and say, you are strong enough to stand and you will always be. And that first post is really what kind of became a way for me to write and in a therapeutic way. Um, I felt so much love and connection to all the words that I have written out throughout those years. Um, and it's been an amazing journey. And as I continue to go forward in life, uh, I hope that we all can learn and continue to know that we're all strong enough to stand. We're all strong enough to be the best that we can. And whatever source of strength we can look to to find that light and hope in our lives, I hope we can hold on to that tight and keep putting one foot in front of the other. Um, I am so grateful for this opportunity to share my story and to know this is who I am. This is me. This is David. And that's not going to change. <laughs>